Stanley up top, sends it off for Carey. Ball pressure is going to be important as they try and keep the ball out of Carey's hands in the post. And there he drives from the top of it. Kicks six versatile pieces. You want a more to combat that on the other side. Slow start for Pitt from the field. Just one of six. And all five points for Duke belong to Vernon Carey, who made just his fifth the wins against North Carolina, sweeping that season series, a season opening win against Florida State, and a win against BC. Carey, double teamed and fouled. Being scorer in the ACC behind Elijah Hughes, who recently leapfrogged Jordan Wara of Lou. Really active on the backboard, running the floor, trying to generate offense wherever he can find it. No one we wanted, and the coach took me out with about a minute left, and he and I embraced right there. Because we have done it together. We have both been through crap. Just to emphasize that three, that's not exactly our strength. Which is true when you got Vernon Carey in the post. Hurt was trapped and then he dumps it off for Carey. It's third. Only real foul trouble from the first half. Matthew Hurt picked up three. He launches a three and hits. Back mode in the open floor. A supreme athlete getting it done. Hurt with that high release. And get the shot going, even with a hand in his face, and Carey can get aggressive, and his teammates are feeding off him. And the way he plays really belies what we're told he's like off the court. Angle is unparalleled. And you look, you, you talk about Carey and where he can advance his game. Being active on the backboard, being active with deflections, protecting the rim. He's going to see double teams at every point, sometimes triple teams. Talk about those greats. Showed him Kobe Bryant and said the Mamba mentality. That killer when you're on the court. Let's take a look at the Capital One rewarding performance. Vernon Carey, 15 points, nine rebounds, one board shy of his ninth double-double. And Mike, look, in three of the last four games, Carey's numbers haven't been magnificent. Was great versus Clemson, defensively questionable, but he's starting to see those double and triple teams and the coaching staff being on him to control what you can control. Take it away, those opportunities for Pitt to create more offense. Quick trigger from Hurt. It's a double-double for Vernon Carey as he goes to the basket. Night after night. I know that team isn't where you want it to be at Notre Dame currently. Again, a Tony, a Champagne, 6'6", six, six, versatile pieces. Those bigs that come in next year, watch out. Compared to this one, averaged 10 points a game. 18 tonight. Carey pushed off on Hamilton, created Curry his ninth double-double of the year. On-camera chemistry, Jones to Carey, the catch, great angle. Grabs the rebound outside the lane. His 11th rebound of the night. So only midway through the second half. The win. Coach Capel's got those bigs coming in, those bruisers, that presence down low. That will challenge people next season. But as for Carey, I mean, what a stat line. And, and, and some stuff that's not fitting on there is the deflections, the shots. Seven minutes now in that span, Duke has made just one field goal. Two. Here's the full court pressure from the Panthers. Trying to force the Blue Devils into a late game turnover with 95 seconds to play. Now he's going to be good with it. Jones on the line. And Carey with an easy finish. 26 for Vernon Carey. North Carolina. His father is a great basketball coach in this state and beyond. High school, college, NBA. Doesn't go the way he wanted, but certainly mutual respect on both sides as Duke comes away with a victory here in Durham.